with Jessica Savage reporting and Dick Schaap with sports from the NBC News Center in New York. Tonight, substituting for Jessica Savage, Kelly Lang. In Washington today, Commerce Secretary Juanita Kreps and Energy Secretary James Schlesinger joined other cabinet members and White House advisors for a helicopter trip to Camp David. Some two dozen people were summoned by President Carter to Camp David for two days of talks. They're aimed at improving decision-making in the administration and giving a clearer direction to its policies. The president has been widely criticized for what a lot of people say is lack of leadership, and his performance in the public opinion polls is at a record low. The president's critics point to the lack of a national energy policy as one of his most serious failures. Mr. Carter first proposed his energy program to Congress one year ago this week, but Congress still hasn't passed it. Here's a report. This difficult effort, which I have outlined, would be the moral equivalent of war. President it Carter, Douglas Kiker, NBC News, Capitol Hill. This country will spend an estimated $45 billion this year to pay for imported oil. That enormous bill is the biggest reason for the sharp decline in the value of the American dollar in relation to other currencies. Tens of thousands of Americans living abroad are feeling the pinch, but not all of them. George Lewis reports from Japan. We'll have that report in just a little bit. George Lewis is not ready yet with that one. In Wareham, Massachusetts, the problem is unemployment, they tell us, now running at about 11 percent. But three years ago, unemployment in Wareham was twice that until the town learned where to get a lot of money for new projects and new jobs. Here's Richard Hunt with that report. Wareham, Massachusetts is not exactly a boom town, but... Richard Hunt, NBC News, Wareham, Massachusetts. 29 cases of botulism have been reported in Clovis, New Mexico. Now, that's one of the biggest outbreaks of botulism in this country in this century. All the people who got it ate at the same restaurant, the expensive Colonial Park Country Club restaurant in Clovis. About 10 of the victims are in serious condition. No one knows yet what caused it. Israel's Foreign Minister Moshe Dayan warned the United Nations today not to allow Palestinian guerrillas back into southern Lebanon. Dayan put his warning in a note to UN Secretary General Kurt Voldheim. General Mordecai Gur retired today as Israel's top military man. Gur was succeeded by General Raphael Aitan as Israel's Chief of Staff. People in Israel have other problems aside from those of war and peace. Philip Tell tells us about one of the less serious, but nonetheless very annoying problems facing some residents of Tel Aviv. Owens Corning would like to help you understand insulation R values. Use doctor-tested Preparation H. I must apologize. We have lost two pieces of videotape here tonight. Uh, we have not, however, lost Dick Schaap. He's here with the sports. Dick. Kelly, the big losers in sports today. People in Israel have a lot of problems besides war and peace. This is the piece of videotape that we lost a little bit ago, and they tell me now we have found it. There are some less serious but nonetheless very annoying problems facing some of the people of Tel Aviv. We do not have that piece of videotape after all. This is one of those nights. Bear with us. All right. In Washington today, Senate Republican leader Howard Baker predicted that the second Panama Canal Treaty will be passed by the Senate. The Senate will vote on that treaty on Tuesday in Niles, Illinois, next door to Skokie. We don't have that, that piece. Okay, now what's next? I just read it. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, we're getting back on the track here, we think. In Boston tomorrow. Ah, here's the Boston Marathon tape. We've got it. 5,000 runners are going to run in one of the longest and most grueling foot races of them all, the Boston Marathon. The race course is 26 miles and 385 yards long, and a lot of the runners are getting ready for it by doing something other athletes are always told not to do, training on beer. Lee McCarthy tells us more. This is jogging. Lee McCarthy, NBC News, Boston. In Squaw Valley, California, the rescue of more than 100 people ended today. Four people were killed and 30 injured when a cable car jumped the track. Don Harris has more. This is what the trams looked like. Don Harris, NBC News, Squaw Valley, California. They tell me now that after two aborted attempts, we now have the piece of videotape that we were looking for about the sheep. Here it is, Philip Till telling us about one of the less serious but very, very annoying problems in Tel Aviv. Here's Phil Till. <coughs> Philip Till, NBC News, Tel Aviv. And now I'm told that that piece that we lost by George Lewis is now ready, so here it is, George 27 Lewis. 27-year-old Mike Tobiason is an accountant with the Tokyo branch of Price Waterhouse and Company. George Lewis, NBC News, Yokosuka, Japan. And that's the news. Thank you for putting up with our mistakes tonight. When one film goes, they all go. Have a good evening. You deserve it.